Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, this is case number 18 in GIT control studies. Our patient is a neonate with vomiting and excessive crying. So, these are anteropositin and lateral radiograph of upper GI contrast studies. So, you can see there's an NG tube inside too. Yeah, in both images you can see the NG tube and tip is in the duodenum. You can see the tip. So, the stomach is at the normal position and distance to the ability is satisfactory the stomach and gastroesophageal junction is at the normal position and you can see the passage of contrast into the duodenum the smooth passage so there is no obstruction in the gastric outlet however you can see the the dj flexure is at the abnormal position here so usually dj flexure is at the level of l1 left L1 and left side at the level of L1 pedicle actually on left pedicle but here it is on the right side so there's malrotation malrotation of small bowel and DJ flexure is on the right side and also it is at a low position low position on and on left, uh, right side low position and right side and uh, apart from that you see some abnormality a corkscrew appearance you call it corkscrew appearance corkscrew appearance so whirlpool appearance of the jejunum yeah, you can see corkscrew appearance yeah it's like this appearance of the upper jejunum so there's twisting of the jejunal loops and there's poor passage of contrast to the jejunum. You can see poor passage of contrast to the jejunum. And there, however, there are no complications like leakage of contrast into the peritoneal cavity or no abnormal fistulous tract and no portovenous gas here and lung bases so also normal, no bone abnormalities. So, in this case, the diagnosis is uh, malrotation complicated by complicated by midgut valvulus. So, that's the diagnosis of this patient. The <coughs> differential diagnosis are duodenal atresia. Duodenal atresia and duodenal obstruction, duodenal obstruction such as uh, such as uh, due to SMA syndrome, SMA artery, or due to lead bands, lead bands, and external compression by mass. Those are the differential diagnosis and. Uh, so those are few differential diagnoses and also small bowel intersusception. Small bowel intersusception. Those are few differential diagnoses for upper GI obstruction in children. But in this case, there is uh, abnormal position of the DJ flexure and also corkscrew appearance of the jejunum uh, indicates malrotation complicated by midgut valvulus. Malrotation commonly seen in first month of life and it is complicated by midgut valvulus. This is the upper GI contrast study is the investigation of choice 
to detect my rotation and mid gut valvulus and also you can see it in the ultrasound scan abdomen you can see the relationship of the SMA so SMA and SMV usually superior mesenteric vein lies to the right side of superior mesenteric artery when there is mal rotation the vein comes to the left side of the artery so it's a one point to diagnose mal rotation and also you can identify the cecal position cecum is usually at the right iliac fossa and when the cecum position is not there and not in the right iliac fossa and also you can suspect mal rotation and mal rotation complicated by mid gut volumes can be seen in ultrasound as whirlpool appearance of the vessels so that concludes case number 18 in GIT contrast studies please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this